What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to Scorchers Lounge, where today we're going to be doing an unbox, well, a review of the Woman's Air Jordan 1 Purple Smoke. It's an all white box, like most of the, uh, the Jordan Woman sneakers come in, with your Jumpman logo right there, Jumpman logo right there, and on this side you have the 23 logo with the size tag. And the label reads. Woman's Air Jordan 1 Mid SE, which stands for Special Edition. Purple Smoke, Purple Smoke, size 12, my size, in a men's 10 and a half. <laughs> Style code is DQ8397, color code is 500, and I forget what this is, but I believe it was 120 for this shoe, maybe 140. 40 forgot so we flip the lid it got your white tissue paper with the gold 23s on it we have the shoe let me see if anything else is in here nothing else oh you got spare laces just wrapped up like this and and that's it nothing else so Jordan Brand came out with a little velvet pack, I guess you can say, for the woman, which is Purple Smoke, Jordan Mid, Jordan 1 Mid, and then they also came up, I'll put the picture up here, which is also a nice pair. It's a Jordan 1 Low Woman's, and it's a pink velvet, like a light pinkish velvet. All right, this shoe, super, super fast to go through. It's an all purple smoke upper. The whole thing. Purple smoke, purple smoke, purple smoke. Now, the thing is the quality, right? So the quality on this is just velvet. And then you have your Nike swoosh right here. Stitched in. And then in the middle it has a line through it. Like a double swoosh almost in a sense. That's the... That right there and the Wings logo right here that is not, it doesn't say Jordan. It doesn't say Air Jordan with the Wings logo. It had the outline. This and the Nike swoosh is the only thing different on this shoe. Everything else is very, is all velvet. Like, even the laces, man. So they give you purple smoke regular laces, but the laces on this shoe, look at these laces. Um... Wait, now looking at the shoe, the tongue is also not velvet. The tongue is nylon. Yeah, it's nylon. And then you got your Air Jordan logo with the Air right there on the patch. And let me see what's going on in the inside. I just noticed something as well. So they use the same material throughout the whole shoe. But so you could get different contrasts every panel. Or every layer is is um different so this is downwards this is sideways you see what i'm saying so then you can see a slight different color on each layer so you can actually shape out the shoe you know what i mean so so this construction right here on the ankle you know what i mean the suede is going down where this one the suede is going sideways you know what i'm saying i mean the velvet so yeah that, you know just a little Little thing I noticed as I was doing my close up. Got your shoe tree as tissue paper, and it's a purple sock line. I mean, it's a purple insole with the white Jordan Jumpman, and inside is cloth, is not velvet, and that's it. I mean, you got your white midsole right there, and then your purple bottom outsole. Now, I like the shoe. I like when they do. Oh, hold on. The bottom. I'm gonna see if I get a close up. So the bottom actually got little, little speckles of different paint for some reason. It's like white, blue. Yeah, it's like white and blue little um, little little uh speckle paint. Let me make sure it's not. Oh yeah, it's on here too. Yeah. Okay. And let me see if there's anything different with this shoe. Nope. <laughs> Nothing different. So, that's basically it with your super quick review. 
um, of your Jordan Velvet. I mean, look, honestly, I like when they do go off script like this and do stuff. I like the touch that, that they did a different Wings logo right there. You know what I mean? I like it. You know what I mean? Um, very cool shoe. Maybe wearing these outside would look a little different and cooler. Maybe the way the sun hits it, the light hits it. You know what I'm saying? But that's it, man. I'm, I'm All I can say now is just, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, baby. You know what I mean? Become a lounger with everyone else, you know? Um... It's not a bad shoe, so I like it. I'm definitely going to wear it one of these days, especially now in the summer. This probably be popping in the sun, you know what I mean? So until next time, loungers, peace out.